Hey guys, I'm Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to discuss about setting up VS Code. So now we are going to access Apex, we are going to create Apex classes with help of VS Code that is Visual Studio Code. But before that we have to set up our Visual Studio Code in our computer system. Now Visual Studio Code also commonly referred to as VS Code is a source code editor made by Microsoft for Windows. Linux and Mac OS. Features include support for debugging, syntax highlighting, intelligent code completion, snippets, code refactoring, embedded git. Now these are some of the features which we get by default with our VS code but we can enhance the features of Visual Studio Code by using some of the free extensions available for VS Code. Now users can change the theme, keyboard shortcuts, preferences and install extensions that add additional functionality as well. Now to install Visual Studio Code on any computer running Mac OS, Windows or Linux, you have to visit this specific URL code.visualstudio.com and click the big green download button. After the download finishes, open the installer and follow the steps to complete the installation. It's a simple next next install kind of installer. Now for development in Salesforce, with VS Code, we will need Salesforce extension pack. As I already told you, we can install new extensions to Visual Studio Code to enhance its capabilities. So if you want to develop in Salesforce using VS Code, you need this Salesforce extension pack, which is collection of different extensions. Now the Salesforce extension pack includes tools for developing on the Salesforce platform in the lightweight VS Code Editor. Now these tools provide feature for working with development orgs like Scratch orgs, Sandboxes and Developer Edition orgs uh, on Apex, Aura Components, Visual Force and nowadays also Lightning Web Components. Once you download Visual Studio Code, you have to install it and then after you have to install the Salesforce extension pack which provides features to work with different types of orgs on Apex, Aura lightning web components and visual force now to install the extension you can visit this specific url and once you visit there you have to click on the green install button the installation process prompts us to open visual studio code if it is not already opened after the visual studio code opens a dialog box opens in the lower right corner asking you to install the extension click install to proceed after the extension are installed, you see a blue reload button. By clicking on it, you can reload the Visual Studio Code. To reload Visual Studio Code and finish the installation, you have to click on the reload button. Now, once the VS Code is installed and once the Salesforce extension pack is installed on the VS Code, you also need to install the Salesforce CLI. Now, Salesforce CLI is used to execute commands against Salesforce orgs and work with source files on our local machine. Salesforce extensions for VS Code uses Salesforce CLI behind the scene. So even if you don't want to use the CLI directly, you need to install it in your machine. Now to install Salesforce CLI, use this specific link. Now, uh, once the Salesforce CLI is installed, you can check it by checking the version of Salesforce CLI by running the command sfdx version. And Salesforce also recommends to update Salesforce CLI on a certain period of time using the command sfdx update. Now, some features in Salesforce extension for VS Code depend upon the Java platform standard edition development kit, the JDK. Now we need to have either JDK version 8 or version 11 installed. So if you have already installed any of them, then it's fine. Otherwise you can use this specific link to download Java 11 version. Uh, but before this, you need an Oracle account, a free Oracle account. So if you don't have one, you can create one during the download process itself. Once the JDK is downloaded and installed successfully, we need to set up the Java home. By default, the extension attempts to locate your local Java installation by looking for a Java home or JDK home environment variable on your computer. If the extension can't find your Java installation, uh, if you wanted to use a different installation, 
change the salesforce dx vs code apex dot java dot home setting in your vs code to that specific address now to do that you need to go to file menu then preferences then on settings if you are working on windows or linux or if you are working on mac os go to code preferences or settings search for the apex change the salesforce dx vs code dash apex dot java dot home setting to the full path of your java runtime but do not set it to the java executable itself make it to the java home folder now note that this path can't point to a location inside your project folder so make sure that you, you are not pointing to any of your project folder you are pointing to directly the java home folder itself so we learned that we have to install vs code extension then the salesforce extension pack then the salesforce cli and finally after installing java we have to set the java path these are the four things to be done it's pretty much of talk of vs code setup now it's time to see the things practically so guys, as I told you, this URL will be used to download Visual Studio Code. So you can click on it and it will take you to the Visual Studio Code page from where you can click on this download or you can click download for Windows. Definitely it will change according to the operating system in which you are running it. So you can select uh, your uh, specific operating system as well. And you can you can click on this icon under the stable uh, build column. So once you download the visual studio code it will show you an installer in your system and you can start the installer to install the visual studio code after successful installation your visual studio code will appear something like this depending upon the version you are working on or you have installed now there are certain sections on the left side among which there is one section known as extension you can open it with Control shift x on your windows so it will show the extension like this and you can certainly search for salesforce extension pack over here so once you search for salesforce extension pack you can see it directly from here and these are the various extensions that get installed with the salesforce extension pack i have already installed it so definitely i need not to do that otherwise you will get an install option uh, and you can click on that install so this is how you can install the salesforce extension pack from visual studio code uh, you can also do that from the link that i have provided in the slide which is this one you can click on this link and it will take you to this specific page from where you can click on this install button once you do that it will ask you for the installation on your visual studio code itself and that will be displayed here on the bottom right corner so once you accept the install and once it's get installed successfully it will ask you to reload like this so i I'm clicking on this reload and it will reload the visual studio code and the salesforce extension pack get installed successfully once you install the salesforce extension pack and visual studio code the next step is to install the salesforce cli for this you can use this specific link which will take you to this specific page from where you can choose your specific operating system so right now i'm on windows and definitely you can choose whether you want to install the x86 or x64 according to your operating system so you can click on this download so that the installer can get downloaded and once it's done you can click on it so that the installer can install Install the Salesforce CLI on your system. Once the Salesforce CLI is installed, you can definitely check on your uh, terminal window or in command prompt by just typing in SFDX version. If it is showing an error, that means Salesforce CLI is not installed. If it is showing a Salesforce CLI version, definitely it is it has been installed successfully. To update the Salesforce CLI, you need to type in SFDX update and it will find out if any update is required and if it is required it will install that update on your system once you have successfully installed the vs code the salesforce extension pack and salesforce cli the last step is to deal with the java or the jdk which you can install from this specific link this will lead you to install java se 11 version you can scroll down on the page and you can search for your specific operating system like if i want to download windows 64 installer i will click on this link i will accept the license agreement and then i will click on this download it will ask me to provide the login details the credentials so i told you if you don't have any account you can create an account by clicking on this create account option if you have an account you can type in there and you can type in the password you can sign in and it will start downloading the installer 
when the installer is downloaded successfully you can install the jdk version over here once the java get installed you can find it in your operating system folder under program files if you are working on windows so you will get this java folder and inside the java folder you will get the jdk like i have installed jdk 8 and jdk 11 so i am having two different folders you can open any one of them and this is your jdk home whose path is to be set in visual studio code so let's see how we'll do that in your visual studio code you will go to file preferences and settings and there you will search for apex and here you can find out the jdk path which is present over here as java home you can see i have set the part of jdk 8 and this is the path let me show you where it is located so this is the jdk which uh, whose path i have set in the visual studio code so you just need to come to java folder go to your jdk copy this path and paste it in visual studio code over here and once it's done your vs code is all set to work with apex and various salesforce related technologies so that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care